bag, buddy. Oh, we got up kind of early this morning, trying to get on the trail because it's our last day. Ooh, this is what, day five? So we're gonna go hit the um, Oark Cafe and we're gonna go to some old schoolhouse that I've never been to before. Craig's been there a few times, I believe. And uh, Corey made it up here from Big Rock. So, yeah, we're gonna pack up and uh, get this day going. I found some more, uh, more damage on my Jeep yesterday. <laughs> Got the hubcap. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. I didn't know why those stuck out so far anyway. It's kind of weird. But, oh, yep, we're gonna get everything picked up and cleaned up, packed up. Get on the road, we're not gonna even eat breakfast this morning. We, uh, we didn't even stay up late because we had to get up early. So, I'm gonna get on the road, knock out as many trails as we can before we had to head home. So, that's the plan for the day. So, we'll see y'all here in a little bit. All right guys, we got uh, the camp all cleaned up and packed up. And uh, remember, I can't preach this enough. If you bring it in, pack it out and take extra stuff if you find it here. Keep the areas clean. It's very important so we can keep doing this. We got everything taken care of and we're fixing to head out. Uh, hit a few little trails and then go to the Oark Cafe for some pie, amazing pie. They say their burgers are good. They, didn't, they were out last time I was there. So I'm gonna get a burger and some pie. And then an old schoolhouse. I think it was the original schoolhouse, the, the oldest one in Arkansas, something along those lines. Don't quote me on that. I don't know all the details. Uh, Craig was telling me about it. So that's the plan for this morning. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much trailing we're gonna get done, but that's, that's the plan anyway. So uh, we'll see y'all here in a little bit.
we just broke camp and uh, we're on the little track here headed to OR Cafe and uh, looking forward to some lunch there. My little one likes to run through the mountain trails pretending like they're a bootlegger. Uh, no, maybe not. I don't want to talk about it though. Just like driving it like we stole it. <laughs> I just need a orange charger and I'll be happy. Challenger, sorry. Praise hell, praise the hell, boys. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're gonna go there for some lunch and then uh, hit up a few sites that we're gonna go see before we have to get out of here today. Ooh. We got a car coming, car coming. So we'll see y'all here in a bit. made it to the Oark Cafe and it's actually not crowded at all. Really nice. We've been here before but it's it's been no three months or so. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't crowded. No it was packed then I remember it being full up because they ran out of burgers that day. So but uh I'll get a couple of pictures of the, the sign. So we got 
here at, uh, there we go. So we got here and got us uh, ordered up. I ended up getting an uh, Ozark mount. And a little man over here got him a bacon cheeseburger. I got two pieces of pie and he got some ice cream. So we're just waiting now to see, or waiting now to get it. I didn't get a burger last time. I'm looking forward to this burger. That pie was phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's all an open kitchen. Hard-working ladies back there. They said they got hit with a, uh, a big crowd yesterday and was struggling to keep up. So that's good that these little uh, little community stores like this still still stay open. Mom and pop places. Sure beats your big chain stores. For sure. Got my customary helping of two pieces no. of apple pie, or two pieces of pie, one pecan. Like I get, I'm hot nature. One anyway. apple. Like if I'm guys, if you don't come here for the burgers, you gotta come here for the pie. It is killer. Definitely worth it. I promise. Hey guys, we're getting ready to leave out of the uh, OR Cafe and this uh, side by side pulled up that done a, a Volkswagen conversion on it. It's a KM X3 with a Volkswagen Beetle body on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, maybe this particular one. There's a couple different versions that you can get. Yeah. That thing is awesome. Uh, we're fixing to get back on the trail and uh, head over to the uh, head over to the uh, schoolhouse, I believe. So we'll see y'all there. This is a 
spot with the pack of dogs that likes to chase you about a mile or two down the road. Yeah, I just seen that sign that says uh, stay on trail for the next point two five. Yeah, I don't remember if it was Matt or somebody just went through here. One of the dogs just tore the crap out of his uh, trash route out of the back of his vehicle. Did you see the bite in your tire? <laughs> Pretty German tamper. Yeah, they're trying to get your trash at root now. Got a gorgeous view though of this little river here. Yeah, I just wish the dogs were in a bunch of heathens. Yeah, he come out there and started wrangling them. Got a pretty nasty wall mud hole up here. I don't know which side is the best. Looks like there's fresh tracks on the back driver's side, so that's the way I'm going. We're gonna wait and see where he can. You're still in too high. Hey, you're about half tire, so it's not too bad on that side. We're gonna be probably up to the bumper. It feels a little sloppy once you get in that one spot, but it's pretty hard bottom. We got up to y'all's boards. Is that old water flowing and everything? No, we definitely should have got out with the big camera on that mud hole. That was fun. They're on R6, I see them.
go-to trails, but it looks like the other one is the way we want to go. I had to move a little bit to get my arrow. I guess this one here is not a trail trail. It looks like it's just a power line trail. Yeah, now the arrow's moving back to where we need to be. There's an ink one. Mm -hmm. Actually, be cool for a trail. All good back there? Now we're not quite as lifted, we can't go very fast. It's a rough ride. Copy that. We're getting thrown around. Now we're going for a swim. The stone wall next to us. I guess we know where all the rain from the last uh, from earlier this past week settled. Somebody built some, put a, put a lot of time and effort in this wall. I know, man. It goes around too. The work they had to do day in and day out to mark their property line. And it's like, how did they even have time to farm or do anything else? Ooh, that's a nice crossing. Camera. We could walk across that. They're like little stepping stones.
There's a bypass to this big water hole up here, guys. You just kind of beers to the right. Creek. cabin is what they call it. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to our place. So, it's a really old cabin. Really neat. It's full of people, so I don't know if I'm gonna get to go in. Running low on time. We finna have to get out of here. So yeah, Bub's cabin. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's,
So yeah, that's Bub's cabin. Really awesome place. If you're on this uh, side of Ozarks, come check it out. Hey guys, well we ran out of time. We was able to see Bob's cabin, but uh, yeah, we ran out of time. We're not gonna be able to make the schoolhouse. So we are back on the road and headed home. And it's been an awesome trip. Had a lot of fun, got to meet uh, Corey. And um, yeah, it's been it's been a great trip. We got to see some awesome waterfalls, some water crossings. It's been a blast. We got to go down some amazing trails. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up and head our way to the house. So I thank y'all for watching. And again, thank you for following the channel and getting us to a hundred. That's a big big leap for me, and I appreciate it. And. Uh, We'll see y'all next time.